prices. Always good to be able to stand here and give away money. Oh, I love giving away all kinds of stuff. You guys speak about giving away, uh, come on up to the ski lodge. And inside the ski lodge, not only got a nice fireplace to keep you warm, but uh, the Woody's girls are there today. The Woody's girls being there is they're giving away free Woody's products. You just have to put your name in the bucket. For the search. Put your name in the bucket, it won't cost you a penny, drop it in, and you may be a lucky winner of the uh, a race suit or in that uh, nice looking gear bag. I have my eye on gear bag. It looks pretty nice out there. Right? I tried to barter for it over the radio. That didn't work. No, it didn't work. Huh? Okay, listen, let me steal my choice. I thought you were looking this far now. Yeah. What a nice day for a race. You know, uh, days like are a little crisp like this and uh, not too much uh, not too much of that uh, parametric pressure. All right, the 42 got the whole shot, I believe, Scott. Jake Scott. Jake Scott launches it up to the top of the hill, and he's got some company on the top of the hill, but he seems to be clear coming down the hill, Bill. All right, this is the Sports Stock 600 in front of you right now. This is our second round, our Heat 1. Ian Liebman in the 12X, Chris Coleman in the 21C, Bruce Gasparti in the 33, Jake Scott in the 42, Bill DeFossi in the 109, and Daryl Dunning in the 142, Marshall Himes in the 157, and Greg Blanchard in the 571. Sailing over the Toyota Tundra tabletop, the green flag is being flown, and Jake Scott does have a nice lead so far. And then it's Chris Coleman in that number two position. Chris airing out on the downhill, trying to catch up to that first place sled. And it's Bruce Gisparty Jr. bringing up in the number three position, trying to close into the gap with the leader, but the leader brings down some awesome last time. 